Tick tock, tick tock. There's a croc in the waters! And I feel it in my bones! Hey guys, what's good? It's J Ruff, back at it again with more Batman Arkham shenanigans up in here. We have made it to Croc's Lair after like 500 videos of me saying that we're going to be getting to Croc in the next episode. We're finally getting to Croc in this episode. Um, but first, since we have the line launcher, you kind of need the line launcher to even do anything in this area. Oh, well, um, okay, good. Um, I might... No! Oh! Okay, well, at least that didn't... It didn't do what I thought it was going to do there, alright? Well, but that'll probably happen to us at some point. Um, but let me get over there. We got Riddler trophies around here, you know. Like with any place, there's Riddler trophies. Although, I don't know how... No, it wasn't, you scum. Yeah, I don't know how Riddler was able to get, like, his trophy shit down here and not get, like, disemboweled by Killer Croc, seeing as how we saw what happened to Scarecrow in the last episode. But if you didn't, um, in the last episode, we made our way to Croc's Lair in order to get the Venom Roots, but we ran into Scarecrow on the way, and he was going to plunge Gotham into darkness by putting his gas in the water, and unfortunately for him, Killer Croc was there to fucking obliterate him before that even was able to happen. Ooh, that's where we gotta go. That's like the direction we need to be. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I mean, I could be missing stuff, but I'm gonna come over the area once again. Before the, uh, you know, before we're done with the game. Um, so right here, this is Oracle. where we start. Heading into Croc's lair to collect the plant spores Ivy spoke about. He's in some kind of old sewer network. Send me the schematics. It's like a maze down here. No yeah, of course it would be a maze. Are you sure about this? And there's nothing... How would there be nothing on record if this is like the oldest place in the entire thing? Shouldn't this be the stuff that's like on record dating back like hundreds of years? What about Croc? What about Croc? And animals just need traps and the right thing. I'll be fine. Alright, so we're not going to get baited by Croc this time. So what we gotta do is, you see there's a little meter there to the left. Now, as when the meter goes down, that means we're going in the right direction. These floating platforms will support me, but will also send sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll That's correct. As slowly as possible. I mean, you don't really have to move as slowly as possible, but if you run, you'll be... It'll be a lot... If you walk like this, you won't see Croc as many times. But what's gonna happen is that Croc is going to come up here out of nowhere, and he will come chase us. When he does, you have to be quick with your Batarang, because if he gets you, that's it. Now basically, what happened in the last cutscene that we, you know, saw before the end of the last video, was that you use your Batarang in order to send off his Shock Collar. Uh, if you land in the water for any reason also, Croc will get to you. Um, and that's, that's another instant death. Um, I'm really kind of surprised, although, oh, it's loading something, so that can only mean that we're about to get a taste of Killer Croc. Yep! So just quick with the battering! Quick with the battering! Quick with the battering! What the fuck?! Why did it not... Okay, it didn't lock on to him. Enjoy feasting on your bones. On my bones! Oh, shit. So, yeah, um, unfortunately for Killer Croc fans, at least, the, at least it saved us right over here. That's what, how you knew that he was going to appear. It's like getting us ready. Okay, so aim the Batarang then. Fuck it. So, yeah, that's just going to keep happening. There's really no boss fight, unfortunately. Like, this is the extent of the boss fight, if you want, even want to call it that. So, we don't get any sort of combative, like, fight against Croc. It's just walking around and... Shut up, Croc. Right. Um, we're at the Venom Roots. Oh, no, we gotta cut it down, right? So, yeah, this is the spore. We need to collect things like this throughout the entire time. And when that full meter fills up with that weird... 
fucking like uh, animation that has not a great frame rate. Um, is it this way? No, it's not. <laughs> I like how it stopped on six nine. Ew. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of enjoy this section of the game. The only thing is that like. I would have liked to actually have a boss fight against Killer Croc, considering how he's, like, the first other villain besides Joker that's, like, built up in any way, like, from the very start of the game. Uh, but what can you do? I mean, this is, like, a over, what, this is, like, an 11-year-old game at this point. Uh, you know, you, you just gotta li live with it. The only thing that really sucks is that spoilers, uh, for the rest of the Arkham series, we don't ever get a Killer Croc boss fight. So this is pretty much to the extent of Killer Croc. Oh fuck, he almost just knocked us over in the water. I mean, there's gonna be more stuff to happen as we go along further in this cave. Um, but again, none of it is like a real boss fight, it's just like he's a stage hazard. Which I mean, I guess you could say the same about Scarecrow, but like I feel like Scarecrow was just a lot grander and handled in a lot more interesting way. Fuck, where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Why did he spawn all the way down there? See, so yeah, just whenever you hear that musical cue, that means Croc is coming from somewhere. So you just gotta be careful. Oh, what was that splash over there? Isn't that the spore? Oh no, that's where we just were. I don't understand why he just doesn't just like com like just try to just run at us really hard. Does it look like I'm hiding? Oh. Bye-bye. See, I turned my back to you, Croc, because you're a Croc of shit. I believe there are some instances where there's like, uh... Like, uh, like an entrance that's blocked that you need Croc to open up. Uh... I think that's it! <laughs> I love how that when things happen right on cue as I say it. Alright, now after we get this spore, I think is when things start to pick up the pace a little bit. Also, I haven't mentioned it yet, but don't worry. There are no Riddler anything in this whole area. What was that? Are we, like... Was he about to, like, get us or something? We needed to just pick this shit up real quick. Alright, and also, every time you get a Venom spore, the, uh... You know, your, um... It saves the game, so if you do die, at least you'll go right back to where the spore, you know, was. I don't know why, also, it doesn't have subtitles for Croc in this section. It's kind of weird, you know? Like, he says shit. You know, I would like to know. He has my sense. Why don't you just, like, appear right under my feet? Like, be like, why do you, like, if you're gonna run like that, like... You're, you're screwing yourself. Oh, boy. Well, we can definitely tell he's just wandering around now. And this is, I believe, the last one. Headset disconnected. I don't even have a headset connected. No microphone that I can use. I'm using the one on my computer, you scum diddly grum. By the way, I've said that a lot. Um, I don't know if he got this from somewhere, but my friend John coined the phrase, scum diddly grum. Or scum diddly um. Alright, well now in order to get anywhere now, we got to use our line launcher. Ah! Don't worry, as long as you stay up on that thing, he can't get us. Oh yeah, we can't move that fast. That's why that thing goes off. But now we can move that fast. So now Crockle just gets tired and he just decides to break the platforms that we're wandering across. He never gets the idea to do this in the first place, but you know, whatever. And I don't know what triggers this happening, but it'll happen at some point. So you're gonna have to, like... You already said that. Oh, he's coming from this way. No! No! Oh! Yeah! Oh, God, that was close. Oh, my goodness. That was a close one. Imagine I just line launched into him. Alright, thankfully we went the right way there. Because there's a chance you could go the wrong way. And then come on, kind of make force yourself into using the line launcher. Alright, it appears that that's the last of our Venom roots dead ahead. 
Um, I said the Venom Roots Croc. I'm not time for that shit with you. It sucks because I feel like they only made Killer Croc look better, like, in the games that would follow this. But you can't... You don't do anything against him. He just... Is just a, a, a character. You know, he's just a side... He's just a, a... A fucking gimmick in a level. Like, you know, he's, he doesn't get his own respect. So, yeah, we need that antidote. Oh, duh! It's like he's Batman or something. What about Croc? What about he won't be a problem. Sock? All right, so now, hi. So as I was saying, now we have to just avoid Croc for the rest of the time and make it all the way back to the end of well, not the end, but rather where we started. Um, I don't know which way to go here. Apparently, this is the right way. Hey, wow. I mean, if you have, like, if you, you kind of can remember where you were supposed to go. I mean, it's not that difficult, but, like, oh. Apparently, we need to line launch this way. Oh, fuck not now! Shut up! Let's just get that batarang ready. And like I said, be careful when running because you could potentially fall in the water and that's it. He will gobble you up like like maggots. My front flesh will tear. Oh shit! If you're easily jump scared by these types of things, don't play this game with headphones. I kind of know this. All this shit is coming, so I, I I'm not really that afraid. You know what sucks is that like I I found as a kid like I was so interested in the Killer Croc section of this game like that was just like the big thing because in the very beginning he's like I'll feed on your bones, Batman. <laughs> yep, that's right. That's exactly what he said and how he said it. But like you know like. Why the fuck... Why why don't we get any, like, boss fight here? There really isn't any, like, unique boss fights in this game. Like, the only boss fights that we get are just Titan guys, you know? And, I mean, if you even want to call them that. Like, I, when I want to play a Batman game, I don't want to be playing against... Oh, you remember that awesome boss fight? Against the, the Titan guy. Like, if you just go to talk to a, a Batman fan that doesn't even, like know about the Arkham games, and you tell them that, oh, you're gonna love the, the Titan boss fight, uh, you're gonna, a Batman fan's gonna be like, what the fuck, why am I not running? Also, why did, he just, like, didn't do anything, that, he had the perfect chance of getting me. Oh, I guess because he was setting up the cut sign, the cut sign, the cut scene. Oh, fuck, I almost fell in the water. So, yeah, this is the end of this, the, uh, this whole area, we just gotta run. Just don't slip, as I almost just did again. And you should be fine. Soon enough, you'll just jump out and try to run to us, you know, for reals. Alright, now once we get over here... We have all this shit set up. And you gotta do it at the right time. And... Alright, Batman, you didn't have to tell me now, okay? I would have gotten that on my own. Yeah, we also don't even see what happens to Scarecrow, you know? No, you won't. We don't see you for the rest of the game, stupid. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's Killer Croc, my buddies, my pals, my guys, my friends. That is Killer Brock. Unfortunately, it was kind of, you know, disappointing. Might be for for some, you know, it's a little, little. It could have been a lot more, you know, but alas, it is what it is. Um, and right now we could get more armor. I just want to see. What is this? More sonic battering, explosive gel. Um, what I'm thinking, 
I'm not gonna go with this again, armor. We have another armor upgrade, though. Let's just finish it off and get the remote control battery, because why not? Just so I can have it, like, a completed thing over here, you know what I'm saying? Alright, well, now we have all of our tools that we need, except for one, but we're gonna be getting the last one momentarily. And you know this is the right way to go, as marked by Joker Teeth. And this is the door that we saw Killer Croc in that one time when he scared the crap out of us. Um, and yeah, so when we open this door, we'll be on a familiar place. The old sewer. This is where you thought Killer Croc's lair was going to be in the first place. And oh, I forgot there were deceased people. Um, which way do we got to go? That way. So I'm going to be an idiot and go over here. Because there are still croc tapes that we haven't uncovered yet. But I believe we uncovered everything. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not going to. I don't have a headset in. Like, what is the purpose of that? Like, I don't get it. I'm just using my fucking charger while I'm playing. You know what? Let me just disconnect the charger. That might be the annoyance. Because it revealed my full name. And I'm going to have to cut that out. Alright, well now what do these scum diddly ums have to say? How does- how do they know? He's getting his boys from somewhere? What is the fuck does that mean? Too bad. We're all gonna piss me off. Let me just get all y'all drowsy. Okay, that guy should have also been taken care of by that. Give me the idiot. Alright. Now that we got the knife guy. Knife! Wait, did that guy fall down there? Oh, the guy's gone. Oh, come on. I meant to hit triangle, not R2 triangle. Alright. I haven't done combat in a bit. I don't want some of that. And now it's prompting me to counter. I love it when... The game tells me I suck. Haha. -ha. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Can I get out of that? And dynamic Booker T kick to you, my friend. Booker T. Oh. Ivy's plants are getting a little bit more chaotic now. The plants are going crazy. I'm getting seismic spikes in all locations. It's not good. It's okay. I've got the mold samples. Wait, what? I'm heading to the back Why can't I? Um, I can't fall. I tell you to hurry. Or I can't fall sure while you know I'm talking doing. to Oracle. Contact me in the cave if you need anything. Oracle, you're the one who always contacts me. Do I ever need to contact you? Eh, I mean, that's probably not true. There's probably been a few times where she's contacted us. Alright, well, as we saw this Riddler trophy we couldn't get until, like, just now. That was there from, like, almost the very beginning of the game. And we unlock our character trophy with that. Which is kind of cool, because you did just do Killer Croc. You know you can only get to that after you've beaten Killer Croc. So I think that's a pretty cool thing. I'm just looking around to see if there's any interview tapes. I mean, I don't know where the rest of the Croc's interview tapes are. Wait, did we... We came from this way, so we gotta go this way. Even though we've already been this way. Wasn't there a... Yeah, there's a vent up here. Alright, now we come back. You remember this area. This was the big uh, platforming area that we were... I wouldn't say in the beginning of the game. Roughly around like episode 5 or 6. Oh, wait, no. This is just the entrance to the Batcave. We will be going to that other place after we're done with this. So yeah, here's another entrance to the, to the Bat Cave. So weird how Batman had this all like in place for a long time and didn't use it until like just now. All right. So you might be thinking, last time we came to the Bat Cave, we got a cool upgrade. What will we get now? How close are you to making the cure? Close. It's been more difficult than I expected. Jeez, if, I, if only we had Batman in the real world, we wouldn't have had 2020 this actually happen. Difficult and doesn't produce much antidote. And the good news? The chemical will definitely stop Ivy. 
may also reverse the Titan transformation. Batman, yeah, we need that antidote. Oh shit, his face is bleeding. I've set the computer to create more, but I need to get out of here and find Ivy. So Ivy's the key. And they've also reached our bat game. Wow, that was loud. It was so loud it chopped up the audio. Yeah, my my game audio is peaking right now. <laughs> it's like really close to peaking. I'm gonna have to lower that. <sighs> In order to combat these venom roots, Batman just now thinks it's a good idea to put together his Ultra Bat Claw. Why he didn't do this in the first place, I don't know. But now, as you've seen all those breakable walls that we couldn't reach with the explosive gel, now we can do this. So all of the Riddler trophies on the entire island pretty much are now open to us. I could take care of a lot of them now, but I kind of want to finish the main story first. So now our Bat Claw is now the Ultra Bat Claw. You can still use it normally, but the, the correct use of it is right here. Because you'll just get three claws instead of one. And I'll just knock down that whole area for you. Uh, I don't know, really know why we had to do that. But, uh, because there's nothing there. It's not like there would be a Riddler thingamabobber there. Alright, now that's where we came from. So I believe... Right, that's where we came from? No. We came from... Fuck if I know. Right, that's Croc's lair. So that's to the right. So yeah, we want to go this way. And make haste. Okay, don't make haste. Oh, is the other area also blocked by plants? It is. Okay, so then we, I guess, this area serves a purpose. But you can kick these things? <laughs> what? Why do you... Why? Why? I don't understand why you would even need to do that. Alright, well, I guess this does serve a purpose. Because I guess we can just climb up here. Do we need to go all the way up? Go all the way up! And you can stay up! By bu 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 busting uh, Whoa. So yeah, now we got a tricky, tricky, tricky area over here. You're gonna need to have mastered your gliding in order to make it up these mounds where Batman almost committed ritual Sudoku last time. Come on, cutscene, hurry up. We don't got all day, or all night, rather. Even though somehow Batman is able to do this stuff in one night. Uh, very quickly, I'll just check the map. No, we don't have the Riddler locations for over here. Because I remember correctly, there's a, a one spot in this area that's very annoying to, uh, to deal with if you're going for the trophies. But luckily, they put one right in the obvious place for us. And also, since Batman has so many tears in this thing, why, why are we still flying? A lot of people have brought that up when playing this game, but it's a true thing. And it doesn't really, like... And it gets worse in subsequent games from this as well, so, like, I, like... Batman can be seen flying with, the, like, a big-ass tear in it, and it's just fine. At least in, like, the animated series, which I just started watching, mind you. I need to watch all of it. Um, is that HBO Max? Not cheap plug. Um, <laughs> uh, but I don't think it does have all of it on there, but that's besides the point. Um, Batman uses, like, a hang glider with his, his, like, you know, with his cape. You know, he doesn't just use an actual, just, like, cape to glide, so... You know, it's not very realistic in what is supposed to be a realistic Batman game. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be realistic, but... Now we got this. Don't really know what the purpose of this is for. Unless we're trying to look for a fucking Godzilla or King Kong to come out of the waters. And there are two heights, so I'm, very quickly I'm just gonna go to both, see what we got. Yeah, there is a very specific location out here where that hides a trophy or something of some kind, but there isn't really anything that we can do about getting it at this point, because we don't really know where it is, and I'm not just going to go floating endlessly just to try and, like, find a trophy that is there only by, like, you know, if I don't know exactly where it is. Alright. Um, we need to get over there now. So, 
I don't know why Batman just didn't have all this shit from the start. You would think with his massive utility belt, and, you know, personally transferring Joker to Arkham, you would think he would probably, like, want to be more prepared. Because, like, it's Joker. You can't take him very lightly at all, even though he has no, like, anything that to, to, to worry yourself about. Um, but we are here. Um, very quickly, I'm just gonna look over the area. I'm gonna probably do that a lot. Alright. Oh, what the fuck? I almost fell. But yeah, as you can see, Vivi's reach has gotten really, really significantly further. Um, did I go the wrong way? Is this where we just were? I don't... Um, cut... Oh no, this is where we're supposed to go, because this area has now changed. I don't know why we need to be brought back here, but this area has definitely changed, as you can see by the pod that's grown there now. Gonna be kind of hard to avoid that one. Hopefully if we can just squeeze on by with the, this thing. You can destroy, you can destroy all these pods. They won't get that far. My antidote will stop them and Ivy. I hope you're right. I'm here if you need me. So what you're supposed to do in order to beat these things, you crawl up next to them, and when you get to them, you just PUNCH them! Yep, that's right. You just punch them right in the lips. Now we can't even go to, back to Croc if we tried. Uh, cause he's a crock of shit. But, uh, anyways guys, that's it for this episode of Batman. I don't know why I'm going into de detective mode. But that's it for this episode of Batman Arkham Asylum. We're finally faced off against Killer Croc. And the next episode, hopefully, we'll be able to go back to Poison Ivy and combat her with our antidote. Alright, so see you guys then. Oh, fuck. This guy. Yep. That's why I said that guy was eating a rat before, because now Batman is eating a rat. Alright, well now, since we have the line launcher... We also got in the previous episode. Now we have to do uh, platforming with it, as we have these big ass things in the world. I don't know, man. I, I I legit have no clue what's happening. So yeah, I think this is the best. Like the, the best scarecrow fake out is when like he makes you think that the game like crashes. It's really cool. I love that they did.